So the rear wheel cylinder here is leaking, contaminated the shoes. You can see they're all soaked. So I'm gonna change the rear brakes. Uh, I didn't record this side obviously, but I'll do the other side. So in case you see that the brakes looking good, uh, now you know why, it's because this side is no good. So we're replacing the whole shoes and wheel centers. Six millimeter. You just gotta find the sweet spot and it'll come right off. Sometimes you have to back off the adjustment, you go from the back here and then you um, collapse the adjuster uh, and that overcomes the lip in the drum this one doesn't have a lip so that's why it came off fairly nicely maybe I should use the uh, the headlamp it's actually a little on the dim side anyways the, the lamp uh, so I think it should be okay like this um, when you're doing rear brakes do one side at a time that way you can look at the orientation of everything on the other side if you happen to not remember how things go back together doesn't really matter what you take off first or how, just as long as you get it back together the same way. You don't need a special tool like this, you can use um, needle nose pliers, uh, you can just use regular pliers, whatever works. Uh, this does or can make it convenient. Can't make out the number here. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm using my finger, my hand, and my finger to hold against this um, pin. And all I do is I push this in and I line up the slot so that, so that the pin can come out. I'm just collapsing, collapsing the adjuster. At this point you should already be able to pull the pull on the shoes. There's a couple more springs. Take note of how this goes. The long end goes in behind the lever. The thick end goes on the front. So it, it will fit like this. It will fit like this. But having it sit in the correct position ensures that it doesn't fall out. There's a couple of springs here. one here and there's two more springs here at the bottom or oh, this one already took off so it just leaves this one and now the only thing left that spring is obviously the one from in behind the only thing left is the shoe And that just leaves the wheel cylinder. I always break off the uh, bleeder. It's easier for the flare nut wrench to get on the brake line fitting with the bleeder out of the way. You can obviously unscrew the bleeder, but since we're replacing the uh, wheel cylinder, just uh, breaking it off is the quickest option. Once the fitting is loose you can use a regular open end wrench. A flare nut wrench just ensures that you don't slip. 
or odds are better that you don't slip and round off the fitting. If it's really stuck and tight, you can still strip it. With the brake line, with the brake line off, just put the uh, rubber cap for the um, bleeder on, and your brake fluid will stop leaking. There's a 13 millimeter bolt that secures the wheel cylinder. You just reach around the back, find the head of the bolt, and loosen. Wheel cylinders are sometimes stuck, so just take large pliers and wiggle it loose and out. And then you just want to clean up the uh, backing plate. Obviously, try not to breathe any of this stuff. You can take brake clean and clean it off. Uh, Assembly is in reverse of removal, obviously. Use some uh, copper anti-seize and lubricate the uh, rubbing points. There's three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Uh, once the drum is on, take out the adjusting plug here, and you can use a screwdriver to adjust the the uh, initial adjustment of the adjuster. Uh, that's pretty much it. When it's done, it should look like the other side. So you can see I lubed up all the uh, uh, areas of contact that move. So the, the parking brake lever, you got to make sure that it's free. Lubricate the backing plate. You can sort of see it here. Uh, obviously put the springs back on. And then this is the self adjuster, the, pu the push arm, uh, that's spring activated. Um, so yeah, you can go in from behind, I'll show you that later then maybe. Hey, after bleeding, take out the, um, this is just water, uh, you just want to wash off any other brake fluid with water. Um, so you take out this uh, plug here, and then you feel for the self adjuster, and then all you do is you ratchet it until the wheel starts to drag a bit. And it's dragging a little right now. And then what you do is you pump the brakes and that recenters the shoes, and then you do it a bit a bit more. And that gives you a nice firm pedal and a good handbrake. Handbrake adjustment is here if you need to adjust it. It might seem a little tight right now, but once you pump the brakes, it'll loosen up. Uh, if it doesn't, you can always turn the adjuster back up a click or two. Uh, that was pretty good. Sorted!